For 11.1 task three, we're going to be working with this coordinate plane. And coordinate planes do not always have to have whole numbers. Sometimes they can have fractions and decimals. So those rational numbers. So we can see this one has decimals. So here's 0.2, here's 0.4, so right in between zero and 0.2. Here's one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths. These are just counting by tenths instead of whole numbers, but we follow the same rules. X goes over, Y goes up and down. We have to go in that order. So the interval, so what is it counting by? When it's talking about intervals, it wants to know what is it, every mark, what is it counting by? And this is counting by tenths. Each section makes a tenth. So now we're going to graph points G, H, and J. So G goes negative 0.3. So here's one tenth two tenths, three tenths in the negative direction, and then positive four tenths, one, two, three, four. So right here we have G. Now we need H is positive four tenths, positive one tenth. So over, right, we walk to our elevator. Then the elevator can take us up one floor there, one tenth. So there's H. And now J, we have positive two tenths, negative five tenths. We're going over two tenths and down one, two, three, four, five tenths, right? One, two, three, four, five. And that is point J. So now we're going to name what quadrants they're in. So we're going to start here at positive, positive. So here's one, two, three, four. So we can see where's G. G's in two. I'll let you tell me where's H and where's J using this information. I think you can do that. Okay, now it says put a plot point K. You get to do point K and put it in quadrant four. Put it in four. And then tell me where you put it. So we're adding another one in quadrant four. So you get to put where K is. You can pick anywhere in this section here. Pick where you want to put it and then tell me where you put it.